Hello, here's Alex from the Siebel Hub, and today we're gonna have a little demonstration of um, the possibilities within Siebel OpenUI to display metadata, actually. So instead of creating uh, progress bars or um, clickable labels for end users, we take care of uh, the developers and business analysts and super users to get more out of Siebel OpenUI, which is uh, a bit of an issue with most projects as it probably eats into the budget with little benefit for the actual end user. But nonetheless, uh, let's start with the demo. Most of you probably recall my example uh, and also from the late, my latest book, when you double click in applet like this, then we can change the labels and display some metadata. In this case, we display the business component field name and also other metadata. Another double click, which I just did, uh, reveals the data layer information, table name, and column name where the data resides. So this is very well documented in some posts on the Siebel Hub. And um, in the surrounding post of this video, you get the URLs there. So just to know what it is. And quite recently, played around with this a little bit more. And you notice there's a link now, get the OpenUI metadata for this applet I just double clicked. And in fact, I can click on this link as well. And so it pulls in some information about what physical renderer is currently used. Uh, I can see that's a default one and this, it's a customer renderer and also presentation model information is there. And so of course you can expand that and you see there's no expression for that, but there's file link to the uh, JavaScript file, which you can actually open in the browser, download it and well inspect uh, the code right here in the browser. So that's another way of displaying uh, metadata. So here's the presentation model, of course. Yeah. And so we pull that information using a business service on the server side and then passing it back as a property set. And then it's simply a matter of parsing the property set to display it. And as you see, we chose the uh, jQuery accordion here to display the information. Let, let's see that in action for another applet, for example, we have here the uh, another custom applet. Um, if you have the book already, uh, the OpenUI Developer's Handbook, you will be familiar with this uh, with this um, custom visualization here. So it's the radar visualization. We put this on on an applet. So let's double click now on the applet so we get the metadata link. And so now we have lots of information there because this is a very highly customized applet, lots of manifest data. And you see in green, the matching conditions for the current visualization. So there's radar, we know which physical renderer used is right now. You can also see the other ones, which presentation model is used right now. And also we have web templates here, manifest expressions that choose web templates. So this needs a little bit of work then, but you see where we go. And there's also, um, we can pull the user properties from the applet uh, using that business service. So you'll see the uh, open UI relevant user properties. Uh, there are a lot of them. This applet is actually a copy of uh, a standard applet as it seems. So um, bringing all this on the screen in context with the applet, of course, has a lot of benefits as you can imagine. So now for final demo, let's go to the home page. And uh, as you recall, there is a standard applet, the salutation applet on the home page. Let's double click it and you see we can get the metadata as well. So there's, uh, there's a Siebel, uh, Siebel internal physical renderer, which we can retrieve here, expression and the file, of course, and also User properties, well, there are none at the moment, so it's not even necessary to display that. But then again, quite in, quite informational, also for standard applets. 
um, to get immediate information uh, if there's any manifest data, if there's any repository data. So speaking of the implementation, uh, please uh, refer to um, the post where this video is embedded. Um, there's a lot of code around this, but it will go through some of the steps how to implement this. Uh, thank you very much and bye-bye for now.